Mic check one, two. Is this working? Is it working? Yeah, it works. All right, cool. So, so we're going to start this whole thing of the whole parallaxing. So today we're looking at parallax and how to do it in flash slash animate. So if you have animate or flash, same same principles apply. Woo. So first of all, Ready. So first of all, you need to know where your file is located. I have my stuff right here. You can literally drag them into Flash if you want to by clicking and pulling and just basically. And no problems. That's all in the video, by the way. I'm just saying we're recording right now. So I'm going to move my pivot point down to the bottom left. Reason being is because I want it so that, and if you want it to snap, by the way, on the left side, you have a property, uh, snap to object. I'm going to pull that here, snap that there, bottom right, snap. And we'll hold shift to constrain the proportion. So make sure you click on the diagonal edge and pull that in just enough for it to take up the entire white area that you have right there. Cool. All right. Now we're going to convert this into a symbol and the reason why we're going to convert it to a symbol is because essentially as a symbol you have access to making a bitmap transparent right and to make it transparent you can just want to make it like kind of transparent all right so Let's check our library. We don't have anything in there yet. And I already started downloading one of them. So. Alright, so one, convert to symbol. I'll just call this BG original. <laughs> Ta -da. What does that do? It turns it into a symbol. As you recognize over here, it becomes a graphic. Before it was a symbol, I mean a, a bitmap. Which means you could literally erase it. All right, next things next. Uh, choose over here with this color effect. Seen that from styles alpha, and alpha is essentially opacity or transparency. And you just pull that down. Right. So this will show you exactly what you're getting. This white area here that you can see behind it is the actual screen that's going to be showing. What's going to happen afterwards is we're going to be putting on the different parts. Right, so I'm gonna lock this layer because I don't want to be doing any editing to it, and then we're gonna start importing all the other stuff. So I'm gonna choose import this time to library, and because I have everything already separate, the way I did mine wasn't so much like a, a, a sprite sheet, but I did them in layers, I exported mine in layers, which helps a lot. Uh, because now I have my moon, my clouds, these mountains, I'm holding CTRL or you can hold command, add it. So they're all transparent backgrounds. So that's everything. Uh, and I want my sky. And I think that's all of it. So press open. And if you look in the library. Hold on. I'm not too sure if I should press anything. Oh. If I look at my library here. You can see everything. Right? All these different things. Those are bitmaps. But it also creates symbols for you. I'm going to rename these symbols just so it's a little easier for me. Sky, one, this is what, moon or sun. Moon, next one, some clouds. C-L-O-U-D-S. What is this thing? This will be the background mountains or something. M, mountain. This thing. Uh, this is a rock. R O C K rock. This thing is what is this? And this is fog. One of them is fog. Oh, recording in progress. Is your bad? Cloud is already taken. Let's use a different name. 
I'll just call this one fog because I think it is. And this last one, uh, clouds too. Oh, I remember what it is now. Ready? Now we just need to order everything up. What's the first thing? We're going to go from back to front. What's the first, first thing? The sky. S K Y. Boom. So, S K Y. Bring that sky inside there. It's bigger than it's supposed to be. Right? So, guess what? We need to scale it down. Boom. Ta da! Remember to hold shift to constrain your proportions. Next! What's next? Uh, I think there's some sort of cloud in the background. There's a background cloud thing, like a. It's far, far away kind of a thing. I think it's this one. Uh, not you, not you, not you. Mm. It might be you, you know. Nope, that's not you. This is more fogs. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> so, you know what? I'm going to throw the mountains in there now. Just because. I don't see them. And I don't know why. Which ones? Clouds? Yeah, we can throw them in there. Is this clouds too? That's the wrong one. Clouds. There we go. And what do we do? We scale them down. Of course, you have to move your pivot point down first. Ta da, it snaps too. Is it looking like what we have? Yeah, it's starting to look like that. Cool. What else? What if it doesn't? It doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as the parallax works. That's the cool thing about having a tile set or a uh, sprite. You can just organize them any way you want. Let's put the moon in there as well. The moon would go behind uh, the clouds. I'm just going to pull this down here like so. And the moon isn't exactly going to move that good is it where it's supposed to be not quite exactly it doesn't really matter yep let's position that moon where it's supposed to be right about there cool we have the sky, the moon, what else? Let's put in some uh, mountain thing. Yeah, there's some mountain things. Mountain thing. Right, so we have some mountains here. Mid-ground mountains. All right, let's just throw that in. Yes, pivot point. Definitively. And let's put that there. Yep, moon has to be behind the mountain. What's next? So clouds. Got the clouds. Clouds supposed to be right where they are. Yeah, that's good. Fog. I think there's one set of clothes I just ignored because I didn't draw it complete. So it would have been weird behind something else. So uh, let's just throw in the foreground FD. Where's it? The stage. The stage. Where's the stage? Oh my gosh. Where's the stage? Oh, whoops. There we go. Yeah, I need to change that into a PNG. Let's do that now. While that's cooking, I did the whole background in Krita. I just threw the parts. Like I said, to me a tool doesn't, the tool is just a tool piece. So it's not, it's not like, oh no, I don't have this, so I can't do this. So I just do it anyway, because I can. Alright, let's just save this thing. I don't know why it's not, there we go. 
Let's just make sure everything is uh, clean. All right, cool. So file, save as PNG. And I'll just call this uh, 008. Stage. And force transparent color. Make sure that's there. Store alpha channel. This only pops up in Krita. Some other programs will do something like this, but press OK and your background becomes a transparent image. Then we just need to throw that in there. Uh, transparent background. So it really depends. If you're going to break up the parts, like example, I have a rock that I put in two different places. Uh, when I put a rock in two different places, I can always just throw it anywhere I want. That's how I do mine. Just make sure you're clean. Oh no, your white background is showing. It does not sit well with me. And something went wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Where's the white coming from? Where are you? Very unlikely that I had a thing. It's like the whole thing is just white. That's so weird. So it's pretty hard. Image properties, image background color and transparency. Alpha channel zero, please. There we go. File, let's save this as properly again. And save. And yes. And yep. Throw the thing into alpha. Yep, press OK. Alright, let's throw that in there now. Stage is good. Cools. And this is our stage. Father's calling. Whoops, I'll have to call him back after the recording. I'm calling. Yeah, we're still recording. It must be one of them mm, private videos. <laughs> uh, moon, mountains, rock. Ah. Alright, so that's one thing. Let's do the next one. Uh, the fog. F O G. And inside this thing. Cool. So this is essentially what we have here. Cool. Hmm. And I'm gonna save this file. Uh, test parallax. Here's the fun part. Basically, I'm gonna create a motion screen, just like you said, and just have it move across. Uh, so let's make this thing be like, uh, I don't know, a couple of seconds, probably 150 frames or some 24, 25, 26, 27, something amount of frames. So I'll do this, F5, all the way up to here. And I'm going to start from the top and go down. So, fog, well, we have the foreground. Now I'm going to start with the foreground. Ready? So, 
put my F6 there. And I know for my fog, it's going to be moving kind of like... I'm going to hide my sky first. Let's leave it like that. Then the foreground. I'm going to do this. Right. Then the clouds. Remember we said in the mid ground things are going to move a little slower. So I'm not going to go all the way across. Next one, mountain things. These are going to move even slower now. They're going to move a little faster. Actually, my mountain should be in the background. My clouds should be in the foreground. Mountain would move just a smidge faster than the cloud. Yes, I could. So I'm just doing a really rough thing. Now, the moon is like all the way in the back, so... That moon probably just gonna move a couple like that, like this. And then the sky isn't going to move at all. Why? Because it's the sky. And we'll just right click on all this stuff and create classic tween. And ready? Let's just turn this into a guide layer so it doesn't pop up in the last minute. And we don't want this to show up either. We actually want this to show up, so this wouldn't be a guide layer. Let's run it and see what happens. Ta-da! Parallax. Yeah, gonna... And that's the parallax. If I wanted it to loop, however, that's a different story. We could actually make it loop. Well, I have to copy my one side to the next side and have it just keep running back to its original position. Yeah. That's probably one of the reasons I wouldn't let the moon uh, move. Yeah. Use the jump. But that's essentially how parallax works. Right? Cool. So thank you for watching this little tutorial. I hope you got some out of it. So all it is, is the further back it is, the less it's going to move across. The closer to the front it's going to be, the faster it moves. So there's a higher distance between the first keyframe and the last keyframe. Basically. Basically. Yeah. movement we could set it up to do that we could set it to do that oh but well, that's the parallax thing so You would do that. Yeah. Right? So that's it for the parallax thing. One more for the road. Ta da! Ooh.